Now take another example that I have a plane xy plane and I have a vector denoted as r and I make a rotation of the coordinate system. So I will make a rotation of the coordinate system. This is my x prime, this is my y prime by an angle theta and ask a question what will happen to the coordinates of this vector in the new frame. So you can say that the rotation is affected by a rotation matrix. Okay, so you will have a matrix called R of theta which is equal to cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta. So now if I consider G cos theta such that 0 less than or equal to theta less than 2 pi. 0 less than or equal. How many such a matrices are there? Infinitely many matrices are there. What is the composition here? Matrix multiplication. Now you can see that every element is a group element. I have infinitely many elements. It is not discrete because theta varies continuously. You take theta as 0 0.1, 0 0.2. In between there are infinitely many thetas. And for every theta you have a matrix here. So it is a continuous variation of a parameter. So <laughs> this forms a group which means you take r of theta and r of phi, multiply them, you will get r of theta plus phi. Now theta plus phi will be another angle in this set. So what happens? You have closure, associativity, identity. What is identity? Theta equal to 0. Do not do anything, no rotation is the identity. That is 1, 0, 0, 1, usual identity matrix in 2, uh, two by 2 matrices. Inverse, for every matrix, it transposes its inverse because this is an orthogonal matrix. So for every matrix, it transposes its inverse. So you have all the group pa parameters and you can also show, I mean it is it's trivial to show, otherwise we can do it in tutorials that this is also an abelian group. Because r of theta into r of phi will be same as r of phi into r of theta. So this is an abelian group. So here group element depends on a real parameter, in this case theta. Now if the parameter theta varies in some space, right, in this case 0 to 2 pi, okay. So <coughs> theta belongs to what is called 0 to 2 pi. So this is, this is closed interval 0 to 2 pi, this is called parameter space, okay. This is called parameter space. Now if the parameter space is closed and bounded, we call the group a compact continuous group. The parameter is only varying in a closed interval. It is continuously varying but there is a bounded, it cannot go beyond 2 pi, it cannot go below 0. So 0 to 2 pi is a closed interval in the entire real life. So like that you have a compact interval, then the group is called a compact continuous group. This group is, this is called SO2, special orthogonal, special orthogonal group. Okay, when we come to uh, third day of this course, we will discuss about continuous groups in detail. So this is called SO2, that is rotations on a plane, proper rotations, special because these are proper rotations. Proper rotations will have a property that the determinant of the matrix is equal to 1. If you take an orthogonal matrix, its determinant can be plus 1 or minus 1. So we are not considering all those matrices whose determinant is minus 1. If you consider all those matrices whose determinant is plus 1, we get what is called SO2 and SO2 is a compact continuous group 
which is abelian an abelian group yeah huh two is yeah so you can uh, <coughs> two is not its dimension this two only says that the rotations are in two dimensional space okay we have we also have the concept of dimension of this group dimension of the group is equal to the number of parameters in this case of this group is 1 because there is only one parameter theta ok so it is good you mentioned so let me write it so dimension of SO2 is equal to 1 which is defined as number of independent parameters now maybe let me just ask you some of you may recall if you if you take rotations in three dimensions space three dimensional space okay what are the what is the dimension of that that is called so3 huh how many how many parameters are there in three dimensional space three parameters are there what are those parameters huh Euler angles yes from classical mechanics you might recall that Eulerian angles will determine any arbitrary rotation in three dimensional space. So, three Eulerian angles will become independent parameters in rotations on three dimensional space. So, they will become the parameters. So, dimension of SO3 is 3. So, I have given an example for finite group, infinite group, compact continuous group. Let us consider an example. So, you have let us say a translation group. Okay, translation group. Suppose let us say that I have translation group. So, T on any f of x, T on any function will make this f of x plus a. Okay, just a one dimensional translation, translation along x axis. Okay, now T depends on a. Now, I can define group as set of all such translations such that a belongs to minus infinity to infinity. Now, this one upon translation. So, what, what is the meaning of group operation? If T of A and T of B is actually T of A plus B. Correct? So, what is the parameter? Parameter is A. Parameter is A. What is the parameter space? parameter space is minus infinity to infinity that is the entire real line entire real line is this closed there is no bound so it is not a compact group this is an example of non compact continuous non compact continuous group all groups where we have space time structure will come under this category for example, Euclidean group, which involves rotations and translations. Galilei group, Galilei group will involve rotations, translations and boost, that is velocity translations. Similarly, Lorentz group, which also involves rotations in four dimensional space time and boost. Then Poincaré group, Poincaré group will in, involve translations in four dimensional space time. So, these are all non-compact groups. Okay? In the last day, we will discuss the basics of these groups. We will not go into too much of details, but let us try to understand what each group is and look at the structure of the groups. Lie group is a general name, all of these are Lie groups. This is a Lie group, SO3 is a Lie group. So, Lie group is a general structure. Okay. So, Lie group is a group where which is which depends on the continuous variation of this parameter. Okay. And uh, you have certain properties for this Lie group. Okay. So, we will also discuss general theory of Lie groups. Now, we will define a subgroup. Let G with this operation be a group. A subset H of G is a subgroup if is also a group. 
it should be a subset and under the same composition it should also be a group okay can we have a subgroup for a cyclic group can a cyclic group have a subgroup If you take any subset of a cyclic group, what happens? Cyclic group by definition, you start from b, b square, b cube, go up to b power n, then only you will get identity. If you take a subset, then you will not get identity. That is one thing. Or if you include identity and take a subset, it will not be closed. So a cyclic group will have no subgroups. except identity alone is a subgroup and the full group is a subgroup because full set can be a subset also identity is a subset these are called trivial subgroups okay so <coughs> only trivial subgroups yeah 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 has a subgroup 1 minus 1 yeah okay so let us look at that okay this is a good question i think it's so the question is we have this we discussed about this group i square which is equal to 1 i power 4 and i square if you take this is a subgroup so that is equal to 1 minus 1 let us keep this question i think this example is uh, a counter example for whatever i have written before we go i have to of course introduce so one example is this so example g is 1 minus 1 i minus i then you have a h which is equal to 1 minus 1 so h is a subgroup of g H is a subgroup of G. Now let us define what is called left coset of H. H is a subgroup of G. Okay. Take an element A in G, but not in H. Take an element A in G, but not in H, and then A H. is equal to a into elements of h is called the left coset of h okay so in this particular example suppose i belongs to g but does not belong to h okay so what is i h the left coset of this h is i times 1 i times minus 1 so this is equal to i minus i i can define a left coset with another element which is in g but not in h that is minus i so if i write minus i into h that becomes minus i i so these two are not different they are same as a set okay so they are e equal as a sets they are same sets so this left coset is not different from this left coset okay so this is left coset now right coset right coset is simply defined h into a is called the right coset that means here i have multiplied this from the left there i have to multiply from the right now these two cosets need not be in general same okay but in this particular example they are same because this is an abelian group so multiplying from the left is same as multiplying from the right so for an abelian group this is left coset and right coset will be same but in general they need not be same is coset a group is the coset of a subgroup itself a subgroup no because there is no identity in general 
So coset is not a subgroup, but it's a set. Okay. The theorem states that 